My name is Chris Gill. I'm chemistry professor at Vancouver Island University and co-director of the Applied Environmental Research Laboratories here. Uh, my research program has been ongoing for over 20 years. Its primary focus is the development of direct mass spectrometry techniques that provide chemical measurement that's faster, better, cheaper, and in real time. So the instrument we're using uses a thermoscientific very spray paper spray ion source. We've also used the thermoscientific TSQ Fortis Plus mass spectrometer. We've also used thermoscientific TSQ Altus mass spectrometer. So the primary challenge we've been facing is related to the opioid overdose crisis. British Columbia is considered one of the epicenter of the overdose crisis in Canada. Um, our rates of overdose here are really unprecedented and they've been that way for well over five years now since the Minister of Health declared illicit drug overdose to be a public health emergency. There's over five illicit drug overdose deaths a day, which is somewhere well over 30, uh, a rate of 30 uh, overdose per 100,000 population, which again is really unprecedented in most regions of the world. And what's I think most devastating is it just has gotten worse and worse. And in the pandemic, it's actually doubled since when the Minister of Health declared this a crisis. In about 2017, I was approached to see if we could, we could help with some kind of a, an analytical technique. And what was needed was something that was rapid, quantitative, and could provide uh, uh, drug testing uh, potentially on site. And so we've been working hard to do this, and I think we've achieved uh, a large part of this at this point. A really important part of using drug checking for harm reduction is to get an immediate result that the client can use to make an informed decision about the drug they may be bringing in to be tested before they use it. The harm reduction drug checking was fairly crude and involved either using immunoassay test strips or maybe spectroscopic techniques and both of those uh, had challenges. They, they were non-ideal. What we're able to do on site is to be able to provide trace level detection but also a quantification of some of the active ingredients and in the, in the full composition of a substance that we can tell people. And I think that's the more useful information that we're gonna to need to make drug checking actually useful in this overdose response. This started as a collaboration with Thermo Fisher Scientific in advance of the official product release. And it was fortuitous for us because it allows us, allowed us to advance what we were doing uh, much quicker than would have been possible if we were actually waiting to see a commercial product. Uh, I think also our work has, uh, has been in the eyes of many because of the sensitivity and selectivity that this type of chemical measurement can afford. And so thermoscientific, very spray, paper spray, ion source allowed us to, to have a platform that would be not only reproducible, but actually easy for people that were less skilled and not necessarily chemists to use. Wouldn't it be great if something like the very spray, paper spray, ion source could be used to provide this in situ or on the doctor's desk diagnostic in a clinic that would eliminate the, the wait time between a, a, a test and a result for, for a patient. This could even save lives.